Blog Talk Radio. It was a creed written into the founding document that declares the destiny of the nation. Yes, we can. It was whispered by slaves and abolitionists. They blaze the trail towards freedom. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. It was sung. It was sung by immigrants. They struck down the distant shore of pioneers who pushed westward against unforgiving Muslims. Oh, we can. Yes, we can. It was the call of workers organized. Women who reached for the ballot. A president who chose the moon as our new frontier. And a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Yes, we can to justice and equality. Yes, we can. 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 The opportunity and the prosperity. Yes, we can. The opportunity and the prosperity. Yes, we can. Heal this nation. Heal this nation. Yes, we can. Repair this world. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. The Monday morning quarterback on the 19th of July, 2017. Hopefully, we've solve some of our sound is that we are uh, working on uh, nonetheless from WBRN Radio in Boston and over the Boston Red Network. Very interesting game in uh, Fenway Park. The White Sox, it was a double hitter actually, the Red Sox, I'm sorry, uh, pulled out the last game uh, free zip shutting out the Yankees and in the first game the Yankees uh, shut out the uh, the Red, Shock, Red Sox 3-zip. Uh, I get my speaking voice going here. We have some very sad news. I'm, I'm reading from the Sydney Morning Herald in Australia. An Australian a woman, Justine Diamond, killed in a police shooting in uh, Minnesota. An Australian woman has been shot dead by police in the U.S. city of Minneapolis in an incident in which officers did not have their uh, body cams turned on, body cameras turned on. She was uh, killed when two police officers responded to a 911 call about a possible assault in an alley behind uh, a uh, home about uh, 11.30, uh, 2350 uh, Saturday uh, local time. One officer fired uh, their weapon, uh, killing uh, the 40-year-old Sydney uh, woman, Justine Diamond, Diamond known as uh, Justine uh, uh, I'm not going to try to do this one, but uh, Rosinic uh, was a trained a veterinarian who worked as a spiritual healer and meditation a teacher. Friend said she was engaged to be married to a Minneapolis man, Don Diamond. She called the police after hearing a disturbance in the alley, went out to investigate uh, when she was shot, according to uh, media reports. The Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade said it was uh, providing uh, counselor assistance to the family of an Australian woman who was shot dead in uh, Minneapolis. There's a picture there. The uh, Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension said in a uh, statement on Sunday that the police officer, uh, police officer had responded to an emergency call about a possible assault in an alley behind my home in uh, uh, Minneapolis uh, in the, uh, what is it, Fulton neighborhood. At one point, one officer fired their weapon, fatally striking the woman. Investigators are trying to lo- locate a video of the shooting. The officer's body cams were turned off and cameras in the squad car. Uh, conveniently, I'd say, did not uh, capture the event, according to the BCA. The body cameras were uh, turned off at the time. The squad, well, this is 
continual repetition here. Investigators are uh, attempting to determine whether any videos of the incident uh, exist. Ms. Uh, Diamond ran meditation at workshops at the Lake Harriet Spiritual Community, which paid tribute to her on their f uh, in a Facebook uh, post. We are so sad to report the tragic shooting of Justine uh, Diamond. The community post said Justine was one of the uh, most loving people you've ever met. Uh, we can't imagine the image. Uh, imagine uh, LHSC, uh, I guess that's a community. Without her, Diamond is believed to have been living in the U.S. for at least the past uh, three years. Her son, Zach Diamond, uh, told the a local paper, the Star Tribune, that the woman heard a noise in the alley, called police. She's about to be married uh, to Diamond 50 in August, a family f uh, friend said. Friends told the uh, Tribune that Diamond worked as a spiritual healer, remembering her as a most loving woman. She and Don were so much in love, a friend said. The mayor, uh, Betsy Hodges, had told a news conference, Late Sunday, I'm uh, heart sick, deeply disturbed at the fatal uh, officer involved shooting that happened last night. I know the uh, neighborhood well. Uh, she had represented this as the mayor, Hodges, uh, the area for eight years at the city council member. We have few facts at this point, according to the mayor. I want to know more. I called uh, the uh, BCA uh, to share as much information as possible and as quickly as possible. 200 people uh, gathered uh, to see the shooting for an, even, uh, an evening uh, vigilant uh, for Ms. Diamond. Mr. Diamond was out of uh, town on a business trip returned to the city. Authorities uh, conducted autopsy and released details about uh, the manner and cause of death. A man claiming to be Zach uh, gave an interview to the Women's March in Minnesota on uh, Sunday afternoon, saying the police were not being transparent about his mother's killing. My mom is dead because a police officer shot her for reasons I don't know and demand answers. America sucks, he adds. The police, office, the police confirmed that two officers involved were on a paid leave. And that is the end of uh, that uh, particular, very tragic uh, story. I uh, communicated with uh, Nancy Lockhart, who specializes in uh, police cases and wrongful uh, convictions, etc., uh, down in uh, South Carolina. And her comment was that now that Europeans are getting uh, killed, more uh, spotlight will be on these uh, types of incidents. This was a front uh, page uh, story in uh, Sydney, Australia. So now it is on the international scene. There's a lot of uh, spotlight on this case, an international uh, case here. We'll try to call up the uh, local uh, paper there, the Star Tribune. Uh, I think that's what it is. And see how the story was uh, covered from there, basically. The same thing, uh, the uh, war stories go around. Uh, their headline is Neighbors um, uh, Moan, uh, Woman Fatally Shot by uh, Police. Basically the same type of story here. The uh, tribute afterwards, the comments uh, from the uh, mayor uh, here, and let's see, she was uh, 40 years old. Uh, she called 911 to report a possible assault in an alley behind her home. The shooting happened uh, at, at uh, well, we won't necessarily get into all that, uh, but three sources with knowledge of the incident said Sunday that the two officers in one squad car responded to a 911 call, pulled into the alley, diamond in her pajamas, went out... Uh, to the driver's uh, door and was uh, talking to the driver. The officer on the passenger side pulled his gun, shot Diamond through the uh, driver's window. Sources said no weapon was found. So they're not going to come up with this old story uh, that uh, a woman uh, would come out in her pajamas with a gun in her hand. 
Now, I don't know if she had a mobile phone or what. Uh, the officer could claim that the mobile phone was a gun. Those kind of lies don't go uh, very far at all. My initial uh, thoughts on this case is this is just outright a murder. And it will be one of those blockbuster cases uh, in the uh, media for a long time in that area. Because they've had a number of uh, cases. Uh, Mr. Clark was uh, killed. And, of course, the uh, case in that area also, Philando Castile. So there's much uh, information out there. And this is permeating uh, the uh, police department and what type of training these people are are uh, receiving, and this all will be brought out here, and no doubt there will be uh, civil litigation here in what can only be termed a uh, rain maker uh, period. Uh, the uh, Castile case uh, was settled for roughly about three million dollars. Um, there was a case also out in Seattle, Washington, that just recently settled for fifteen million dollars. So, in other words. It's a situation that uh, continues uh, to uh, haunt us, no doubt about uh, that. Uh, let me just... Uh, a story we had here and have been around here, we'll go to it. Racism is everywhere, so why not move south? This is uh, from the uh, New York Times by... Uh, Reniquez uh, Allen, I hope I pronounced the name correctly, but anyway, we tried to do it. Last winter, while waiting for a friend on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, I wandered in and out of a boutique on uh, Madison Avenue. I could feel eyes on me, following me, my big afro uh, hoop uh, earrings and even bigger book bag. I went to a coffee shop, a place that specialized in espresso. It was full of... Uh, European men and women laughing and chatting. I took a seat at the counter, and uh, the barista asked for my order. I said, an espresso. Uh, I replied, he didn't budge. Are you sure you want a cup of espresso? Yes, I said. And he went behind the counter, grabbed the cup. Are you sure? He asked again. That was a strange thing. Do you know that it comes in a small cup? Yes. Uh, uh, why else would you walk into an espresso bar? Anyway, I didn't know uh, what to say, uh, so I did uh, what so many uh, millennials uh, do. I fired off a complaint on Twitter and realized once again that New York is uh, never as progressive as it uh, ought to be. Often a lonely place uh, for young uh, and African American. So uh, lonely, in fact, but. Uh, African-American millenniums are leaving, not flocking here in uh, the first place. There are more uh, alluring uh, possibilities lie in the South, specifically in cities like Atlanta, uh, Miami in Florida, and Dallas in uh, Texas. In 2014, the top states of black millennials gradu uh, migrated to uh, were uh, Texas, Georgia, Florida, and uh, North Carolina. California remains the only state amongst the uh, top five outside of the uh, South. The pattern is uh, different for their uh, European counterparts. A report last year uh, by the New York controller found that between 2000 and 2014, 61% of the millennials moving to New York were Europeans. Uh, only 9% of its 18 uh, to uh, 29 year olds moving into the city were African Americans. No, only 9%, uh, get that right. Nationally, about 82,000 African uh, millennials migrate, uh, migrated to the South in 2014. That's according to an analysis of the uh, of census data by uh, the independent uh, Gullish uh, a uh, senior analyst at the Center of Education and Workforce at uh, Georgetown. Forty percent Forty of African American transplants come from the Northeast, 37 percent from the Midwest, and 23 uh, percent from the West. 
African millennials uh, from abroad are less likely to uh, settle in the South. Now, I'm using the word, she uses the word black, I'm using the word Africa, a, a, a better approximation. African people have been moving to the South for years, and of course it's not uh, a trend reserved uh, for young, but uh, to me it's beginning uh, to see that uh, African millennial uh, culture in the center of uh, African life, the idea of uh, African hope and opportunities are now squarely located in uh, the South. That's a very interesting situation. The uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson used to say uh, at Push back in the mid-80s, if African Americans had not moved in such great numbers from Mississippi uh, to uh, Chicago, they would have had a governor, a Supreme Court, and a legislature there in Mississippi. The African uh, uh, population of Mississippi is now uh, about uh, 50% and more, depending on where you are. I interviewed uh, many African people in their uh, 20s, lawyers, hairdressers, writers, secretaries who moved from the north to the south or were planning to do so. The reason they give me, is, uh, give me uh, were a variation of themes. Uh, African life is now the south. Racism is everywhere, and at least in Atlanta, real estate is more affordable than New York. No doubt about that. I grew up in Inglewood, New Jersey. Our friend H grew up in, I think, Inglewood. Uh, happily going uh, to uh, uh, Beauregard's, uh, where I uh, served some of the best ice cream I've ever tasted. My uh, mother told me uh, she wouldn't allow, uh, she wasn't allowed in the uh, uh, cafe when she was a child. It would be surprising if I were uh, followed in uh, Barnes Eye. Eric uh, Garner was killed uh, 30 miles from my my home, the Southern Poly Lord Center. Reports that New York and uh, Pennsylvania each have more hate groups than uh, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Virginia. The Center uh, for the Study of Hate and Extremism at the uh, California State University, San Bernardino, found that more than a thousand hate crimes reported in nine major cities in uh, 2016. New York had uh, 380 incidents, the highest uh, nationwide. Given all that, the uh, Southern transplants talk about life in the promised land. Upward, mobi uh, upward mobility of African people is a appealing, except I sort of hate the South. My Aunt Dee uh, died recently at 99. Whenever uh, I asked her why she left Manning in South Carolina in the 30s, during the great migration of southern uh, Africans to northern cities after explaining to her what the great migration was and uh, that uh, she was in it. She said the family moved uh, for the chance of better uh, life, uh, better jobs, and she would never go back. She told me there was nothing there to go back to. I visited Manning, a small uh, city, a little more than uh, an hour uh, southeast of Columbia, uh, this year, and uh, that feeling, uh, nothing to go back to, followed me around as I tried to find the relics of my uh, great aunt South. I was overwhelmed when I learned that Brown versus uh, Board of Education had uh, a case in her uh, county. I read about uh, two uh, European men who were affiliated with the KKK who burned a uh, African church there in Manning in in 1995, so they're still working. And let me just finish this up. The, uh, the South where history looms large, affixed with Confederate flags, songs of Dixie, isn't the South uh, African millennials are flocking to. Perhaps that, uh, too, is part of my northern elite uh, imagination, or just uh, a... Uh, tired stereotype. Instead, they are headed into a modern progressive South, bristling uh, with uh, African uh, politicians, business executives, a formidable uh, African uh, activism scene, and middle class uh, suburbs. That's the same thing that's happened to Prince George's County in out in uh, D.C. Most of the people I talked to who have moved uh, from northern cities to the South were upbeat about their uh, new homes and suppose 
I spoke with Jessica Barron. Uh, she is a sociologist, demograph, uh, demographer, excuse me, based in uh, Durham, North Carolina, who moved from Los Angeles, counts herself in the, the uh, migratory uh, trend. There is uh, something about uh, African millennials wanting to find some type of uh, reclaiming or resurgence of uh, terms of moving to the south. A lot of the reclaiming the south is a place where uh, black folk can uh, thrive. Well, I suppose so. South Carolina native uh, Jasmine uh, Owen is a good example. She moved uh, to New York after law school, built a legal career. She was working as an assistant DA in the Bronx. Hmm. When an opportunity came uh, last spring to move uh, to Atlanta and work in the Clayton County District Attorney's Office, she wasn't happy in New York. She had a nice group of uh, friends, liked her job, and uh, was in uh, the market for a home. She realized that she uh, could have uh, so much uh, more outside of New York instead of buying uh, 170000 co-op uh, with... Uh, $800 plus maintenance fee. She moves south. Now she lives in a four-bedroom house. It costs $200,000, no doubt. And good school, she says. Unbelievable, but anyway. Yeah, let's see. We'll skip over this other group of people, but basically you get what the stories are. Uh, the next day I headed to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to visit a... Uh, LGBT uh, worshippers, uh, where I was greeted by a tattooed, covered, uh, ring nose wearing lesbian minister. Boy, the sort of there. Yeah, let's see. Uh, and spoke to a young African American couple who had driven from Alabama. It seemed like a different South was emerging. Well, possibly so. Everything changes. And many of those uh, recasticant populations in the South. In the rural areas, uh, older people, you have to look at the demographics in, in the states as to how many older people, say, for instance, are in Alabama or in uh, Mississippi, things uh, do change. And they uh, tend to change uh, there. Another story we've been setting on around here, the end of uh, what is called Black Harlem. I've lived in Harlem for half of my life, 30 years. I have seen its uh, complexities, a cultural nexus, of African Americans, the uh, landing place of Senegalese immigrants, the seven transplants, a home for people fleeing oppression and seeking opportunity. Uh, Harlem is a birthplace for so much poetry, music, and beauty, but in the eyes of many who have never set foot here, it is uh, has been long a swamp of uh, pain and suffering. A few years ago, I was on 8th uh, Avenue, known as Frederick Douglass Boulevard, Picking a fundraiser for a politician who was pushing for uh, density mixed uh, zoning along 125th Street, the main street of my sprawling neighborhood. Harlem was uh, seeing an influx of tourist developers, strollers pushing young uh, families described uh, by the media as urban pioneers. Hmm. The new uh, high end housing, uh, hip restaurants also play their part for. Uh, some have uh, various uh, public improvements, like the new landscape yoga studios. In fact, all these activities have helped uh, spur the place up. Not surprising, uh, on uh, that day, a few uh, passerbyers shot as ugly looks as if you say we can't uh, accept a good thing. Anyway. And even then, a few boys passing by on their bikes uh, understood what was at stake. They chanted, uh, save Harlem now. One of them inquired, uh, why are you, you all yelling? We've explained that the city was encouraging housing uh, on the historic uh, retail uh, center, uh, 125th Street, as well as taller buildings. Housing is is a good in theory, but uh, the medium income in Harlem is about 37000 a year. And uh, many of these apartments would be uh, too expensive, no doubt, by design. Hearing this, uh, making uh, quirk uh, calculations, one uh, uh, quick calculations. Sorry, one uh, boy in glasses shot back. 
You see, I told you uh, they didn't plant these uh, trees for us. No doubt about it. Uh, the trees are coming and the people are leaving. Rents are rising. Historic buildings are coming down. The Renaissance where uh, Duke, Duke Ellington, performed. And uh, the uh, Chills uh, Memorial uh, Temple of the God in Christ where... Uh, Malcolm X funeral was held has been uh, demolished. Nightlife fixtures like uh, Smalls, uh, Paradise, the Linux Lounge, they're long gone. You remember that? Linux Lounge. Picture of it here, anyway. But this is a problem with gentrif uh, gentrification and uh, what uh, James, uh, with all due respect, uh, doesn't get, but what that boy on 8th Street did for so many previous New Yorkers. Like uh, James Whole Food is just uh, the uh, corner store. But among uh, African and working class residents of Harlem who have uh, withstood uh, redlining, neglect, it might as well be uh, Fordham and uh, Madison uh, to us. Our Harlem is being remade, upgraded, and uh, transformed. No doubt about that. Let me just finish this up here. With various people that were there, Marcus Garvey's uh, Universal Negro Improvement Association was there. Uh, dance hall, they call the Renaissance uh, Theater and uh, oh, let me see, built a complex of uh, shops and, uh, and casino. It quickly became a centerpiece of the, the neighborhood. Of course, it's demolished now. In the 30s, hundreds of thousands of African Americans, not and not a few uh, whites lived in Harlem. The officer, James, the officer, excuse me, James Wendell uh, Johnson, uh, asked in a Black Manhattan his classic account of Harlem early. The question invincibly rises: uh, Will uh, the uh, Negroes of Harlem be able to hold on? Well, that question has uh, been answered, no doubt about that. For it's just south of Central Park, with easy access to high-end jobs further south and uh, LaGuardia Airport to the east. A mixture of stately Victorian row houses and miles of apartments, the former uh, ripe uh, for adaptation, and so forth and so on. And this is a very nice article here, very long article, but we'll finish it up here. Uh, we were wrong. The men we saw as our mayors, many have talked about affordable housing. And the vision is uh, far from rent control and public housing of the FDR and uh, Mayor uh, LaGuardia. Uh, once uh, supported, and uh, of course, the current mayor talked about it, but it didn't happen. Gentrification in Harlem uh, might well be a link to the progress of uh, the British where most uh, that the civilizing interloopers uh, uh, could uh, muster was a patronizing interest in uh, token elements of local culture. Thus, uh, yes to uh, the uh, hip uh, Afro uh, fusion uh, restaurant, but uh, complaints to uh, 311 on. Uh, a Sunday uh, sermon dance, barbecues, etc. Whatever. And finishing this up, when uh, we uh, friend, when 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 uh, we uh, friends are gather at restaurants like Sherry's for convenient uh, romps by the owner on, on a Friday at Roosters, I don't know where the hell Roosters is, and some DJ in the moments of laughing and drinking and dancing. We see uh, it seems marvelous. This Harlem, this is what New York is supposed to look like, to be like. Only most of us know that our uh, fun times together are doomed. So Michael Henry Adams uh, conducts tours in Harlem. No doubt. Uh, we also have a fellow on our uh, Facebook page that conducts tours, Harlem uh, tours. I'll do a plug for him. But, like a museum, this is Michael uh, Henry uh, Adams. This is on the 20th of May, a little daily, but 
We had this around. It's the sum of things we have around. Let's just do the sports, something that is a little bit more, uh, as they would say, up to date here. Hopefully we have the right. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll get it in a minute here. This is uh, from Sunday night, Major League uh, Baseball. And as we wait to bring it up here, uh, the Yankees and Red Sox. It was a double hitter. And this is the uh, first game, uh, game one. Yankees three, uh, Sox nothing. The uh, Yankees had 12 hits, no errors. And the uh, Sox have four hits and one air. And in 11, Toronto was in the Motor City. Blue Jays, uh, actually, Tigers have. Six to five was the final there. The Nationals were in uh, Cincinnati. Nationals fourteen to four over the Reds. The Rockies were in uh, New York. Uh, the Rockies thirteen to four. The LA Dodgers they were where in Florida. They pulled that one out. Mr. Hill was the winner. Rick Hill uh, three to two. The Cubbies uh, were in a Cannon Yard and made a waste of the Orioles. A 15 a zip uh, was uh, eight eight zip. Excuse me, was the score. The uh, Cubs had four, uh, 15 hits and no errors, and the Orioles uh, three hits and no errors there. The Diamondbacks were in Atlanta. Atlanta seven to one. The Cardinals uh, were in uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh pulled that one out uh, four to three. The Cards had thirteen hits and no errors, and the Pirates had eight hits and two errors and still won the game. Hmm. Interesting. In ten, the Mariners were on the south side of Chicago. Mariners seven to six. There. They had ten hits, no errors, and the White Sox nine hits and three errors. That's writing a book on how to lose a game. The Phillies uh, were in a uh, Milwaukee. Slowed the Brewers down a little bit in that uh, central race with the Cubs. 5-2 to two was the score of Phillies over the Brewers. And the Twins were in Houston and wished they would have stayed at home. 5-3 uh, to three was the score of Astros over the Twins. And uh, the uh, Rangers were in uh, Kansas City. Royals are 4-3. to three. The Royals are back, I suppose. Mr. Herrera was the winner. The Rays and Angels in California... The Angels four to three, Cleveland and the Athletics in Oakland. Athletics is seven to three. The Athletics are starting to win a little bit here. The uh, Giants and Padres. Well, the Giants are back to their old selves again. Uh, the Padres uh, uh, seven to one. Uh, Mister uh, Cahill was a winner there. So Margin was a loser. The Yankees and Red Sox. This was in the second game. The uh, Sox won it. Three zip. The Yankees had eight hits, one error, and the Sox had eight hits and no error. Mr. David Price, uh, the old Toronto pitcher, was a winner. And uh, Mr. Uh, Had his name here one time. Anyway. Was the loser? Kimbra was the uh, winner. Tamaka, Mr. Tamaka was the loser. And a very good pitcher there. Mr. Justice uh, did his best. An article in ESPN: Justice versus uh, Mookie Betts. The new rivalry within uh, the Red Sox uh, Yankee uh, rivalry. Uh, interesting uh, situation there. And the. Uh, part that a man named uh, George Herman uh, Roof played, uh, was known as Babe. Babe uh, was uh, with the Yankees, and then he ended up uh, with the Red Sox, uh, I mean, with the Red Sox and back with the Yankees. And, uh, of course, you had people like Ted Williams there, was there. They just named a few. uh, Thurman Munson, Munson, the old Yankees. uh, Catcher that died uh, too young, Carlton Fisk, was another catcher. Don Mattingly who is managing these days, Wade Boggs, Mr. Jeter, and uh, so forth. And uh, 
Roger the Dodger Clements, he's still working in baseball. So he's uh, Pedro Martinez, and he's looking at some of these. And, of course, Mr. David Ortiz. And these are some of the people that have played in this uh, Yankees uh, Red Sox uh, rivalries over time. Alex Rodriguez and Dustin Pedroia. Uh, some of these uh, uh, various uh, players here. But nonetheless, the rivalry, I guess they would say, is uh, back uh, with these uh, teams. Let's do, we have time, let's do the standings because we're back from the All-Star break and we can look at the standings uh, very uh, quickly here. In the East, the Red Sox are on top. Uh, Tampa Bay is three games back and three and a half games back. We find the Yankees, that's in the American League East. In the American League Central, Cleveland is on top. Uh, the Twins are uh, one and a half games back. Kansas City is two games back, so it's a pretty tight race still. And the Tigers are six games uh, back. The White Sox are nine games back, I guess. It's pretty close Central, last year, American League Central. In the West, it's all Astros. Uh, there, we can forget about anyone else. The Mariners are there, but they're 16 and a half games back. In the National League East, the Nationals are on top. Followed by Atlanta, but then uh, nine and a half games back. The Mets are 13 back. In the Central, the Brewers are on top. The Cubbies are uh, at four and a half games back. Uh, the Cards are six and a half games back. So it's somewhat of a race between uh, the Cards and well, they're all kind of bunched up together between the Cards and the Cubbies, and the uh, Pirates are what seven games back. And in the West, it's all LA Dodgers. The D-backs are ten and a half games back. The Rockies are what eleven and a half games back, and the poor Giants are twenty-nine games back. They're way down in the cellar, so we won't even have to worry about uh, where they are. And of course, the Padres um, are what twenty-three games back. So that is our uh, standings uh, and where we are on this. Uh, 17th day of July. I think we got everything uh, in here. A murder in the Midwest, a police murder in the Midwest, and we'll uh, see. Oh, let's look very quickly. We almost forgot. At the polling, the Washington Post has a new poll out, and DJ Trump, as they say, is uh, doing what he's been doing lately, heading downward. We didn't get into what Trump Jr. is doing because, in our opinion, Trump Jr. is an idiot. So, idiocy uh, plays. This is the ABC uh, News, Washington Post poll. He's at 39. In Gallup, he's at uh, 38. And let's take a quick look here at the ABC Washington Post uh, poll here. And do you approve of uh, DJ Trump? I guess that's the first question they ask. And I suppose this is where he declined uh, since the spring. That was the article. We looked at the article actually in uh, the Washington Post itself. There's some uh, decline involved uh, there. Let's see if we can just get the poll up. Uh, we had it earlier. We're looking uh, at it uh, in terms of where uh, Trump is. Uh, National flood insurance uh, program is uh, is a, a 25 billion uh, in debt, so that needs to be fixed. There's just a lot of things. Uh, Joe Scarborough, Trump is killing the Republican Party. We hope so. Our health care history is uh, watching uh, Fourth Sentence. This is E.J. Dion. I think we have time to do this. Uh, one of our favorite uh, columnists here. Over the past century, there have been uh, a characteristic American uh, cycle of uh, response to far-reaching uh, social reforms. When uh, the, uh, the uh, breakthroughs are uh, first proposed... Uh, Conservatives fight them with a uh, 
devoted passion warning that the measures will often move the nation towards socialism uh, and then over time the disastrous consequences never materialize reforms prove their worth and the American people come to see once new benefits as rights and Jerry, the late great Jerry Pippen talked about this in the debate over Roosevelt remember we had this uh, plan for social security, James uh, Wadsworth said the system would make a government so vast, so powerful as a threat to the integrity of our institutions and to pull the uh, pillars of the temple down upon the heads of our descendants. James uh, Tober, like uh, Wadsworth, a conservative Republicans from New York, was e- equally apocalyptic. Never in the history of the world has any measure been uh, brought here uh, so uh, insidiously designed to prevent a business recovery, to enslave workers, to uh, prevent any possible ability of employers providing work for people. As it happened, the pillars of the temple remain uh, firmly in place. So today does uh, Social Security. The story is the same in uh, Medicare. uh, An eloquent conservative actor named Ronald Reagan uh, warned in 1961 that the plan passed. Behind it would come other federal programs but would invade every corner of freedom as we know them in our country. Reagan uh, saw only the darkness ahead for America and did not rise above uh, his uh, scheme. One of these days, uh, you and I are going to spend our sunset years telling our children, our children's children, what it uh, once was like in America when men were free. I guess he didn't get the women. The giver uh, offered this. It's very easy uh, to disguise a um, medical program as, human- as a humanitarian project. Most people are a little reluctant to oppose anything and suggest medical care for people who can't afford it. Well, they should be, and this is in the coming weeks will be amongst the in- most important in American history. A handful of Republican senators will decide whether the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, will remain part of the fabric of our uh, cu- uh, country's nation's life, the latest in a long series of steps towards a more humane society. The Obamacare uh, repealed, uh, unveiled by old man uh, McConnell, after a failure of his first try, if anything worse than the original, primarily because uh, insurance reform, really a rollback of uh, actual reforms protecting those with pre-existing conditions, limiting the premiums for older Americans that would render health care coverage unaffordable for millions who face the most severe health problems. In the meantime, the bill kept the worst aspects of the earlier drafts in place. Senator Susan Collins, she's from uh, she's from Maine, and bravely and correctly identified the deep cuts uh, to Medicaid as a central reason that the bill deserves to die. Uh, Rand Paul of Kentucky also said he would vote no, and the 48 members of Democratic uh, Caucus are going to re- uh, oppose the bill. Republicans need to continue our nation's uh, painful, slow but necessary march towards guaranteeing every American insurance. Here's a suggestion to uh, uh, Heller, uh, Portman, uh, Shirley Moore Capito, and Lisa McCoskey. She's from Alaska. Republican senators who should. Uh, feel morally bound to vote no. Uh, Like Colin, they have spoke strongly against the damaging cuts to Medicaid. And the other thing about enduring social reforms, uh, they list not not only listed not only because they demonstrate their values, but also because uh, Congress improved them over the years. Social Security, for example, is better because of changes made in the 50s and the 70s to oppose uh, this uh, watched uh, Senate uh, repeal, wretched, excuse me, Senate repeal, uh, thus does not mean uh, declaring the ACA is uh, perfect. Hmm. Okay. We uh, can uh, gatefully that uh, early generations ignored those who regularly equated social advances with oppression as Regan uh, said our children, our children, children will ask whether we uh, shared the courage of our forebears. That's from E. Day Dion. 
writing in the uh, Washington Post. I think this is a good way to end our uh, our program. We'll get to the killing of the Republican Party later from Joe uh, Scarsborough. We also remember here... Uh, 